Good morning, students of class three. Students, I'm sure all of you are fit and fine. Students, please stay indoor and keep yourself safe and healthy. Students, in my last video, I had started with exercise B. Answer the following question of lesson two: the inauspicious justice. And I had completed the first three question and answers of exercise B. Today, I am going to continue with exercise B. So, all of you, please take out your English notebook and your Wordsworth English Reader book. Turn the book to page number 17. Students, please take out your English notebook and your Wordsworth English Reader book. Turn the page to page number 17, exercise B. Answer the following question of lesson to the inauspicious justice students first of all i'm going to revise the first three question and answers of exercise b which i had explained and written in my last video and then i'll be continuing with question number four so all of you please listen to me carefully as i revise the first three question and answers Question 1. Why did Akbar miss an important meeting? Answer 1 is, after completing his bath, he tripped and fell down. He got his ankle swollen and was in great pain. He had to be held back to rest, so he missed an important meeting. Again, I am repeating answer 1. After completing his bath, he tripped and fell down. He got his ankle swollen and was in great pain. He had to be held back to rest, so he missed an important meeting. Question 2. Why did Akbar send the hawker to the gallows? Answer 2. Akbar had a bad day with all sorts of trouble. He considered the hawker's face inauspicious as he saw his face in the morning, so he sent the hawker to the gallows. Answer 2. Akbar had a bad day with all sorts of trouble. He considered the hawker's face inauspicious as he saw his face in the morning. So, he sent the hawker to the gallows. Question 3. What proclamation did the hawker wish to make? Answer 3. The hawker wished to warn the people of the city not to see the emperor's face in the morning or else they would be sentenced to the gallows just like him. Answer 3. The hawker wished to warn the people of the city not to see the emperor's face in the morning, or else they would be sentenced to the gallows just like him. Now students, I am going to start with question number 4. All of you, please start writing with me. Take out your English notebooks and copy question number 4. And question number four is, why do you think, why do you think Akbar said The hawker free. Question is, why do you think Akbar said the hawker free? Now, now, in this the question is, ki why do we think? Ham aisa kyu sochte hai ki Akbar ne hawker ko free kar diya tha? So, the answer is, I think, after think, we'll put a comma. After think, we'll put a comma. So, I think, Akbar set the hawker 
I think I will set the hawker free because he must have realized that the hawker was an innocent person not at all responsible for his bad day. This is the answer. Akbar ne hawker ko kyu free kar diya tha because Akbar ne realize kiya hoga कि उसका जो बैड डे था उसके लिए हॉकर नहीं रिस्पांसिबल था एंड हॉकर वाज एन इनोसेंट पर्सन कि हॉकर डिड नॉट डू एनीथिंग दैट वाज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर अकबर्स बैड डे है ना सो आवर आंसर विल बी आई थिंक अकबर सेट द हॉकर फ्री बिकॉज़ ही मस्ट हैव रियलाइज्ड दैट द हॉकर वाज एन innocent person not at all responsible for his bad day fine now when you write this answers children you should be accurate with your spellings now look at the spelling of because b e c a u s e because then realized r e a l i s e d realized r e a l i s e d realized then innocent i double n o c e n t i double n o c e n t innocent and responsible r e s p o n s i b l e responsible r e s p o n s i b l e so please listen to me carefully and write the answer correctly question 4 why do you think akbar said the hawker free answer for i think comma akbar said the hawker free because he must have realized that the hawker was an innocent person not at all responsible for this bad day right fast students again i'll be revising and then i'll be erasing and writing the fifth question question fourth why do you think akbar said the hawker free answer fourth i think akbar said the hawker free because he must have realized that the hawker was an innocent person innocent not guilty jisne koi galat kaam nahi kiya hai an innocent person not at all responsible responsible matlab zimmewar for his bad day and remember to put a comma after i think fine so again i'm reading it for the last time and then i'm going to erase it question 4 why do you think akbar said the hawker free the answer is i think akbar said the hawker free because he must have realized that the hawker was an innocent person not at all responsible for his bad day so children now i'm going to erase question number 4 and write question number 5 
Now, question number five. Are please draw a parting line after each answer. Beta, her line, her answer ke baad, aapko scale or pencil se ek line draw karni hai. Question five. What lesson do you learn? What lesson do you learn from this? Story. What lesson do you learn from this story? Now, अब इस story से हमें क्या lesson मिलता है? You need to write. So the answer is from this story. We learn that we should always be rational rational means logical hum hame hamesha logic use karna chahiye rational in our thoughts in our thoughts and never consider c o n s i d e r consider anything anything or anybody to be in auspicious or a bad omen before forming any opinion about others we should put ourselves in their shoes this is the answer children now the question is what lesson do you learn from this story answer is from this story we learn that we should always be rational in our thoughts हमें हमेशा अपने थॉट से जो हम सोचते हैं उसमें रैशनल होना चाहिए रैशनल मतलब लॉजिकल किसी ने कुछ भी कह दिया तो एकदम नहीं मानना चाहिए है ना 
उसके पीछे रीजन होना चाहिए सो वी शुड बी रैशनल इन आर थॉट आई नेवर कंसिडर एनी थिंग और एनी बडी टू बी इन ऑस्पिशियस और अ बैड वोमेन और कभी भी किसी भी चीज को या किसी भी पर्सन को हमें इनऑस्पिशियस है ना अशुभ या बैड ओमन बैड ओमन की मतलब इसको देख लिया है या ये सामने आ गया है तो अब हमारा बहुत बैड लक होगा ये ऐसा हमको नहीं सोचना चाहिए बिफोर फॉर्मिंग एनी ओपिनियन अबाउट अदर्स वी शुड ऑलवेज पुट आर सेल्फ इन द शूज और किसी के बारे में कोई भी ओपिनियन बनाने से पहले हमें अपने आप को उस पर्सन की जगह रखना चाहिए है ना उसकी जगह पे पुट इन देयर शूज मतलब वो अपने आप को उसकी जगह हम किसी को अगर बैड समझते हैं बैड लक सोचते हैं कि इसका हम मुंह देख लेंगे तो हमारा दिन खराब जाएगा या अशुभ है या मनुष है तो उस पर्सन की जगह हमें अपने आप को रख के देखना चाहिए कि क्या जो हम सोच रहे हैं इज दैट करेक्ट अगर हम उस पर्सन की जगह होते तो लोग भी हमारे बारे में ऐसे सोचते तो कोई भी चीज बेटा इनऑस्पिशियस नहीं होती है फाइन सो दी आंसर इज फ्रॉम द स्टोरी वी लर्न दैट वी शुड ऑलवेज बी रैशनल इन आर थॉट आई नेवर कंसिडर एनी थिंग और एनी बडी टू बी इनऑस्पिशियस और अ बैड ओमेन Before forming, this is forming. F O R M I N G. Before forming any opinion, O P I N I O N opinion about others, we should put ourselves in their shoes. Put ourselves in their shoes. अपने आप को उनकी जगह पे रख के सोचना है. तो हम किसी को भी अपशगुन, bad omen का मतलब होता है अपशगुन है ना तो हम किसी भी चीज को अपशगुन या मनहूस ये ऐसा नहीं सोचेंगे अगर आप अपने आप को उनकी जगह पे रख के सोचेंगे सो अगेन आई एम रीडिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एंड दिस आंसर व्हाट लेसन यू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी सो फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी वी लर्न दैट वी शुड ऑलवेज बी रैशनल इन आर थॉट आर नेवर कंसिडर एनी और एनीबडी टू बी इन ऑस्पिशियस or a bad omen before forming any opinion about others we should put ourselves in their shoes fine <clears throat> right fast students this is the last question of this exercise fine question 5 what lesson do you learn from the story and children please draw a parting line after each answer draw a parting line using the scale and pencil after each answer so what lesson do you learn from the story the answer is from this story we learn that we should always be rational in our thoughts and never consider anything or anybody to be inauspicious or bad omen before forming any opinion about others we should put ourselves in their shoes now in this answer please be particular about the spelling of rational r a t i o n a l rational means logical then consider c o n s i d e r then in auspicious i n a u s p i c i o u s omen o m e n hai na jisko bolte hai na good omen acha shagun bad omen अपशगुन तो दैट इज ओमन ओपिनियन ओ पी आई एन आई ओ एन आर सेल्स ओ यू आर एस एल वी एस फाइन सो फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी वी लर्न दैट वी शुड ऑलवेज बी रैशनल इन आर थॉट एंड नेवर कंसिडर एनी थिंग और एनी बडी टू बी इन ऑस्पिशियस और अ बैड ओमन बिफोर फॉर्मिंग एनी ओपिनियन अबाउट अदर्स वी शुड पुट आर सेल्फ इन दर शूज So I hope everybody has written this answer. Please write fast, children. So now I'm going to clean this, and I'm going to start with exercise C. So with this we have finished our exercise B, and now I'm going to start with exercise C. exercise c is 
find words from the story find words from the story that have similar meanings similar means same and similar meaning wale words ko synonyms bhi bolte hain beta similar meanings as the following ना कुछ वर्ड्स दिए हैं और हमें उन फाइव वर्ड्स के सिमिलर मीनिंग्स लिखने हैं फर्स्ट है सेलर यू नीड टू डू दिस इन द बुक आप इस एक्सरसाइज को बेटा बुक में ही करेंगे फाइन सो सेलर जो कोई भी सामान बेचता है उसको सेलर बोलते हैं और इस लेसन में सेलर का सिमिलर मीनिंग वाला वर्ड कौन सा है एच ऑलरेडी दिया है एंड सिक्स लेटर का वर्ड है एंड द वर्ड इज हॉकर सेलर हॉकर सेलर का सिमिलर मीनिंग का वर्ड क्या है बेटा हॉकर देन द सेकंड वर्ड इज सैड एस ए डी सैड दुखी होना है ना एंड जो अल्फाबेट दिया है दैट इज डी अब डी से क्या वर्ड है डिजेक्टेड डी ई जी ई सी टी ई डी डिजेक्टेड देन दर्ड वन इज अनफॉर्चुनेट अनफॉर्चुनेट मीन्स अनलकी है ना और इसका जो सिमिलर मीनिंग वाला वर्ड लेसन में जो दिया है दैट इज इन ऑस्पिशियस लेसन का नाम ही है इन ऑस्पिशियस आई एन ए यू एस पी आई सी आई ओ यू एस इन ऑस्पिशियस देन दोर्थ word is continued c o n t i n u e d or jo word diya beta continued ka wo p se start hoga so the word is progressed p r o g r e w s e D progressed fine and the last one stopping the similar meaning word is starting with P and the word given in the lesson is preventing. yeah this is your exercise c the first word is seller and the similar meaning word from the lesson is hawker seller hawker now the second word is sad or sad ka jo similar meaning word hai that is dejected sad means dejected fine then the third word is unfortunate hai na unfortunate means inauspicious hai na jisko kehte hain hum apshab apshagun hai ashubh hai hai na bad luck hai wo sab kya hai inauspicious unfortunate hai na jiska luck bahut kharab hai 
and then the fourth word is continued continued means progressed hai na progressed koi bhi cheez jo aage badhti hai continued aage badhna progress karna and the fifth word is stopping stopping means preventing stopping preventing rokna kisi bhi cheez ko rokna so preventing fine i hope everybody has written these words in their book students you need to learn them kyunki aapko exam mein test mein aa sakta hai kis write the synonyms of the given words here write the words which have got the same meaning so aapko learn karna hai hawker aayega to aap seller likhoge this can be vice versa agar seller aaya hai to aapko hawker likhna hai aur hawker agar likha hai to aap seller likhoge fine sad hai to aap dejected likhoge dejected diya hai to aap sad likhoge तो जरूरी नहीं कि यही वर्ड्स हो ये वर्ड्स भी एग्जाम में आ सकते हैं एंड यू नीड टू राइट द अदर साइड फाइन सपोज इफ यू आर आज टू राइट द मीनिंग ऑफ हॉकर व्हाट विल यू राइट सेलर डिजेक्टेड व्हाट विल यू राइट सैड इन ऑस्पिशियस व्हाट विल यू राइट अनफॉर्चुनेट प्रोग्रेस्ड कंटिन्यूड प्रिवेंटिंग स्टॉपिंग फाइन सो इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी कि आपको यही वर्ड होगा ये वर्ड भी आ सकता है तो आपको ये लिखना है ना ये पूछा तो ये लिखना है ये पूछा तो ये लिखना है आपको दोनों याद होने चाहिए क्लियर ना आई होप अभी फाइव वर्ड्स का मीनिंग सबको क्लियर है है ना सो नाउ ऑक्कर इफ एनी वर्ड आस्क यू You will be writing the meaning as seller, fine. And lesson me, a hawker, kaha use hua hai, hai na? In the morning, emperor Akbar saw from the window a hawker pushing his loaded cart, hai na? Hawker, anyone who sells something, hai na? Hawker, jo bhi saman bechta hai, usko and specially hawker ferry laga, jo ferry wale hote hain, jo ghum ghum ke saman bechte hain, unko bechta hawker bolte hain. Then sad. Sad means de dejected, है ना And uh, जो dejected word है वो lesson में कहा use हुआ है Emperor Akbar was dejected when he had um, a swollen ankle, he had pain in his feet, he couldn't um, um, he couldn't drink the juice, then he couldn't enjoy the company of his trusted court, uh, courtier Birbal, so he was dejected, है ना तो अकबर के संग उस दिन बहुत सारा ट्रबल्स आई एंड दैट ऑल मेड अकबर वेरी सैड एंड व्हाट इज वर्ड फॉर दैट डिजेक्टेड देन अनफॉर्चुनेट इन ऑस्पिशियस है ना अब इन ऑस्पिशियस कहा यूज हुआ व्हेन ही वाज लाइंग इन हिज बेड ही वाज वंडरिंग दैट व्हाई ही हैड सच अ बैड डे देन सडनली दी थॉट केम दैट अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग he had seen the hawker's face and the hawker's face was so inauspicious that the his seeing at his face was the cause of all the troubles which emperor akbar had to face so inauspicious word kisko kahan pe use hua lesson mein when akbar thought the uh, about the hawker and he uh, was convinced that the hawker's face is inauspicious ki hawker ka face inauspicious tha manhus tha ashub tha that is the reason he had to have such a bad day then continued progress ye kaha pe lesson mein aaya as the day progressed hai na lesson mein aaya hai na ki jaise jaise day progress hua things came to his things came to a head hai na jaise jaise hua ki in the evening he quarreled with his wife and he threw tantrums at his servants i hope sabko yaad aa gaya hoga ki progress kaha pe hai and the last word is preventing and preventing preventing means stopping and ye kaha pe use hua and birbal's intelligence prevented stopped akbar from punishing an innocent person fine so in my next uh, video children i'll be framing sentences on these words fine so i hope uh, now you are clear with the meaning of these five words and all of you must have completed all the five question and answers of exercise b in your english notebook so next video i'll be framing sentences
that's all for today students please do read the lesson and complete exercise a b and c of comprehension in your english notebook that's all for today thank you students have a good day ahead